everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to talk about if submitting your poetry or stories to magazines or online journals is a scam okay we've talked about this numerous times in the past it comes up probably like every three months um, somebody sends a question in or asks me about it or some stuff. I've been trying to not do so much ultra negative content because it doesn't like serve anything. Like it might serve you to get pissed off enough to go on a rant in the comment section, whatever. Like it, it doesn't do nothing. If you want to submit to magazines and you think that's the way to do stuff, you're going to do that. If you don't want to submit to magazines and do things your own way, you're going to do that. All I can tell you is what I think and in my life, if I think it's kind of scamish or not. What I'll do is tell you what my experience has been submitting to magazines, okay? If you want to submit to magazines, the best thing you can do, I think, um, as far as just like saving time and the whole deal is to start an account with Submittable. A lot of magazines go through there. It's a good, easy way to take care of stuff. So if this is how you want to, I don't know, get discovered, knock yourself out. Do I think it is good? No. I think it's a old fashioned way to do stuff, but some people like the nostalgia of doing it, so do it. Some other people, think that there's like validation like but somebody else liked my work enough to put it out there that validates me does it what what happened like what what did you get from that somebody thought your stuff was good enough to put out cool what happened you don't know it's not like the magazine you submitted to is going to share numbers with you about how many units they pushed what their subscriber count is. None of these magazines do that. Even online journals won't tell you what their fucking numbers are. They won't tell you how many fucking clicks they get a day. Most of them don't even fucking know. So on that sense, it, I think it's a scam that there are places that kind of sell you the illusion of getting discovered through their shit or sell you the illusion that because our editor thought your stuff was good enough to put in this magazine that you're set now. For what? What's it for? I have no idea. So like I could ask some of you like, so have you ever just randomly picked up a poetry journal? Or, and I'm gonna say this more with poetry because I think fiction, I think fiction's a little bit different. I think readers of fiction just like good stories and they want to read and they want to be taken somewhere in the whole thing. I think with poetry journals, the only people who read poetry journals are the people who have their stuff in poetry journals. And some of you might be going, that's not true, that's not true. Okay, so let me ask you this question. All the poetry journals that you have collected in your apartment or your house or whatever, that giant stack that you allegedly have, okay? How many of those did you get because you were just shopping for poetry? Or how many did you get because you know a poet who got their stuff in it? Or... How many of those do you have because it has your stuff in it? Or how many do you have because in order to submit a poem to some fucking magazine, you had to sign up for a year subscription to whatever fucking magazine it is under the guise of, why don't you subscribe for this discounted rate and then that way you could get our magazine and know what we're into and what we like put out because that's not a scam at all. Okay, so now that we've gone through this whole thing and you realize that the only poetry magazines you have laying around are not there because you like to read poetry. They're there because of different reasons. We can have like probably a very honest conversation. But some of you are going to go, that's not true. That's not true. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so then tell me what poets you discovered and became a huge fan of 
and just reading these random poetry journals that you buy on your own without anybody like pushing you to buy those. Okay? There's tons, right? You probably remember every poet in every journal that you've ever read, correct? Oh, you don't. Oh, okay. So, what poets have you found in these journals that mean a lot to you? Okay? Now, now that you now that we've figured that out, how many of those poets have you gone out and bought their work because you found them in this journal that you purchased with your own money without any push to do so? Oh, you haven't you haven't supported that poet at all. You haven't you haven't bought any of that poet stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, so now with all of this said, knowing that nobody buys poetry journals, nobody reads poetry journals, nobody goes out of their way to find poetry journals, let me ask you this question. Do you think it's worth your time and your fucking effort to submit to a bunch of fucking poetry journals? Oh, but you know what? If you get accepted in something, you could post it on Facebook or Instagram or something. Ah, I see. See now, okay, this makes sense because so you're doing it for that validation again, for online clout. Okay, I understand. Yeah, if the only reason why you wanna to submit to magazines is so people on social media can think that you're a legitimate poet, then fucking knock yourself out. I'm not gonna tell you not to do that if that's what your end goal is. Fucking do it. That's a good way to do it. Because as long as all those people who read your social media think that if some douchebag editor for some crap fucking magazine took your poem to put in that, didn't pay you, they're, of course they're not going to fucking pay you, but they take your poem and put it in something, and now all your friends go, oh shit, this guy, this guy's legit. That's pretty awesome. So now I want you to think, how many poetry books or broadsides or chapbooks have you sold to all those people who think you're really cool for getting in that magazine? Because if the answer is zero, I'm going to fucking shock you right now. If the answer is zero, that means that those people don't give a shit if you've been fucking in a magazine or not. They don't fucking care, okay? So again, I ask you, what is the reason you want to submit to magazines, online journals, whatever. What's the reason? Oh, you don't know, okay. So let me ask you this question, because some of you are gonna go, well, what about poetry? That's a huge magazine. It is, it's really big. Name three poets who was in the last issue. Oh, you can't. Oh, shit. Does that mean you don't read it? Oh, okay. So you love the culture of poetry journals, but you don't fucking buy them and you don't fucking read them and you don't fucking care. So again, we go back to this whole thing where the only fucking thing a poet cares about is getting their own work out there so they can say they've been in X fucking journal. Some of you are still gonna say I'm wrong. Okay, who's the editor right now at Poetry? Name five big poetry journals and then tell me who the editor is in each of those journals. Wow, you don't know any of this stuff. This is your work. This is your dream. And you don't know anything about what it is you're trying to fucking do. Okay, now that I just shit all over your dreams and basically showed you that you don't even give a shit about what you're doing, let me fucking, like butter you up a little bit now. All that work and time you spend submitting and then waiting around, twiddling your thumbs, going, fuck, I really hope I get into this fucking magazine. Now that all of that's done, okay? Instead of doing that, just put your fucking shit out and then fucking find an audience and sell your shit. Or if you're very altruistic and you don't believe artists should ever make money and you totally buy in to the capitalist bullshit of making artists think that the starving artist is the only true way to make art that isn't fucking fake. If you're one of those people, give your shit away for free. 
You know what you should do? You should get a second job just to pay for all the shit it would take for you to make your work and put it out for everybody. If you really believe in your shit, which you don't because you need validation from an editor, from a magazine that you don't even read, okay? So again, we're back to this whole thing where like you are like feeding into an archaic system that does not make any money. Because here's the other thing. The only reason why these things are still alive and still there are because of grants. It's not because anyone buys it. It's not that anyone fucking reads it. It's that there are big wig motherfuckers who go around to a bunch of rich fucking white people who are old as shit, and they go, hey, don't you want to contribute to the arts? You like the arts, right? That means you're cultured. And like, oh, let me get my checkbook. Because guess what? They don't fucking read it either. So nobody's reading this shit, but people are getting checks who run this shit to put the shit out, but nobody fucking reads it. I would love to know what the readership of Poetry Magazine is. I would love to see the graph of like annual readers of Poetry Magazine. Not even readers, annual like fucking sales. No, because they don't even sell. Let's say how many they print. Boom. I would love to see how many copies are printed each year. Because I bet you a million fucking bucks this chart goes like this. You can fucking ski down that fucking thing, dude. World record speed ski skiing. Wow. Nobody fucking cares. The only way anyone's going to know that you are doing anything at all is if you make them know you are doing something. Believe in yourself this much. Validate your fucking self. Get your shit out there. Sell some fucking books. Why am I yelling at you? This is so fucking stupid. I'm so over these fucking poets who are so fucking shriveled up a shell of who they should be. Thinking that they need someone to tell them their shit is good. Have you no fucking, like, self-esteem? I get it. We're poets. We're supposed to be, like, gloomy and fucking brooding and the whole thing. But at the same time, you should know you're fucking awesome. This is fucking bullshit. Just fucking believe in yourself and put your fucking shit out. It's fucking stupid. I'm so fucking tired of talking about this because when someone asks me hey like do something on submitting to magazines they're not doing that to hear the truth they're asking that to validate the fact that they still want to fucking do that all of this everything we're talking about all of this is just to validate fragile fucking egos Knock it the fuck off, pull your fucking pants up, and fucking do something. Nobody fucking cares. Make them care. That's it. Type fucking hard, don't be such a fucking bitch, and get your fucking shit out.